House Resolution 568 by Representative Kennard for the 102nd. McLean of the 100th, Cannon of the 58th, Scott of the 76th, and Hutchinson of the 107th. A resolution recognizing and commending Philip Bray in Safe House Outreach and for other purposes. Chair recognizes Representative Kennard to, for an invite resolution. As I mentioned earlier, thank you, uh, Speaker Rostin. As I mentioned earlier, uh, this is in Homelessness Day at the Capitol, and there's no more significant organization than Safe House Outreach in the city of Atlanta that has addressed this issue for close to 40 years. Today, we honor the founder uh, of Safe House Outreach, Philip Bray, and his son, who is now the executive director of this organization. Would you help me welcome Philip Bray? Thank you. Uh Representative Kenner and uh, Mr. Speaker, thank you so much for your leadership for our state. I am a native of Atlanta, and um, I was raised between the federal pen and the Atlanta Zoo, and they said it's a miracle I didn't end up in one or the other. <laughs> I'm a pastor's kid. My dad's church was one block from the federal pen, and first guy to ever break out, Jesse James Roberts, st stole our car and uh, took it down to Tifton, Georgia, and torched it on the side of the interstate. And it was my parents' first car. <laughs> but um, we at Safe House, 80, in 1982, I was a pastor's kid that was rebellious and uh, had really spent my days on the other side of the law. And I uh, became one of the largest cocaine dealers and abusers of cocaine in America. And uh, when I came to my senses, I just wanted to go to the city to where the children were that were hurting the most. And at that time in Midtown Atlanta, between 5th Street and 14th Street, were 200 kids under the age of 15 prostituting every day. And so I just went to them and listened. And there was a Crystal Hamburger joint at the corner of 7th and Peachtree. Some of you may remember it. And so there was a safe house booth there that we would sit all night long and feed people and listen to their stories and then say, would you like a changed life? We would like to provide you that. And we do and have been ever since with the hand up versus a hand out motto we really believe in helping folks become accountable for a self-sustaining life. And we'll go the extra mile with them. And, you know, sometimes it takes a handout for them to get a hand up. But Representative Kennard has, I guess since you were a teenager, been a volunteer at Safe House. And now his organization comes down and uh, feeds a couple hundred mills and serves people. We uh, feed 200 at lunch, 200 at dinner, basically that many meals. And we offer them through that meal a message of hope that you can have a changed life. So thank you. And I can't, I got to tell you, he kind of stole my thunder earlier because he mentioned a turtle on the top of a fence post. If you see a turtle on the top of the fence post, you can bet your last dollar it didn't get there by itself. So to all the supporters, volunteers, uh, politicians um, from city, state, county, to uh, even Washington, D.C., we've uh, had great support over the years. And to our corporate partners, you know, we just couldn't do what we do without the bigger community coming together to provide a handout and not just a handout. Thank you.